Aloha, Cyberbots. Hope everyone's having a wonderful day. So I went to the gym and I did a bicep workout today. Um, I'm going to start to have more videos in the gym weight training, but I'm going to have to do voiceover so there's music playing in the background due to uh, copyright stuff on YouTube. Even if there's this song playing in the background that I didn't edit into my video, I would get flagged. That's why some of my previous videos have music playing in the back, uh, music that I had to edit in the background or pretty much make it silent because of that reason. So anyway, I'm doing bicep curls with the curved bar. I did three sets of 10, but I actually just show two sets of 10. And I always inhale and exhale. It varies. Sometimes I'll do the preacher curl, but I, I'm a big fan of the curve bar as well. I was trying to find the straight bar, but it was nowhere in sight. So I had to opt for the curve bar. So I'm resting for a couple of seconds. And right here I'm doing shoulders. So I did biceps and shoulders. I'm doing a military press with, I, think, I believe those were 20 pound dumbbells, if I'm not mistaken. So I did three sets of 10 as well. I always inhale and exhale with good control form. I always like to stay focused. So if you're training, make sure you have proper form. I can't stress, stress that enough. If you don't have proper form, I will write you up because I am the form police. And the reason I stressed about having proper form is because you don't want to spend all your time recovering from an injury instead of not spending that time at the gym. So you want to spend more time at the gym training the safe, proper way. Because injuries suck. It takes a lot of time to recover and to actually get back to the gym. and You have to work up your strength again. So keep that in mind. And right here, I'm doing bicep curls with the pulley machines. I also did three sets of 10. So I squeeze at the top, squeeze right at the peak. And if you notice, when I was doing the curve bar, I would let it down slowly. I would bring it up and then release it down slowly. So right here, I'll stretch and rest for at least 30 seconds or a minute. I don't like to get too cold. So I'm squeezing right at the peak. And this is a really, really great bicep exercise if you're looking to change things around. Okay, everyone, keep in mind, train safe. Always use proper form, because I am the form police, and I will write you up. Bye-bye, everyone.